K-I-L-R Killer Games It's Sandy Ooh. It's bunch of buildings made out of sand with someone looking up at it it must be killer gamer and nerd gamer 2k as we play sid meyer's civilization civilization oh and will we get owned and destroyed question mark question mark dot 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 all right. So, Ooh. Civilization was created by Sid Meier, which is that guy, and Bruce Shelley, which is not that guy. It was released in 1991 for DOS and ported to many, many other platforms. Many, many. It is considered to be one of the most important strategy games of all time. It's a turn-based 4X strategy game. What does that mean? Explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. I'm you, missing the E. You spelled that, yeah. We'll exterminate. Exploit. Uh, like you're taking advantage of uh, like the things around you and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Your objective is to build an empire to stand the test of time. As far as history, this game began as a real-time strategy game while in development. But Sid thought it was too much like SimCity, mm. and he changed it to be a turn-based game, much like a board game. And there were several sequels and spin-offs of Civilization. One of those is CivNet, which is a multiplayer remake uh, done in 1995. Allows you to play with your friends. Yay, friends! Will we stand the test of time? Because Killer, or that's me, Killer Gamer! And Nerd Gamer, Tokai! Are going to build our own civilizations to see how far we can go. Or will we get wasted? Guess we'll find out. We might be laying in the tomb there. It's produced by Sid Meier, which is not spelled correctly, <laughs> and Al Bleh. Bleh, bleh, bleh. and Mike Cor Corcoponia and Tim Train and Michael Ray. This is kind of speeding up. Chris Clark, it is. Michael Crayhead, Nick Uran, Paul Murphy, Space, the final Purple. Frontier. Is that the, a sun? No, it's a galaxy. These are the voyages of the Killer Nerd Gamers. Their ongoing mission to explore strange new games. To seek out new ways to play. New ways to get pond. It's Sid Meier's Civilization! See, they have his name spelled right there. <laughs> well, why did they spell it wrong? I have no clue. No idea. Alright, so we're gonna start a new game. In the beginning, the earth was without form and void. But the sun shone upon the sleeping earth, and deep inside the brittle crush, cushion, whatever, I just missed that whole line. <laughs> <laughs> the seas parted, and were formed, and, and shifted, and earthquakes spawned, volcanoes erupted, and there's lightning coming from space, apparently, with strange gases. 
What the heck is that green stuff? <laughs> Looks like an alien thing is... Growing. Yeah. Almost reminds me of Spore. But the seeds of life grew and grew and strengthened and spread and diversified and prospered. And soon every continent and climate teemed with life. They're going really fast. And with life came instinct and specialization, natural selection, reptiles and species and man. And there appeared the killer nerd gamers. Now, first flank, 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 faint glimmers of intelligence, which is not me speaking, apparently. Nope. The fruits of intelligence for many fire tools and weapons and hunting and farming and sharing of food, family, the village, and the tribe. But you need one more ingredient. A great leader. <laughs> you must be that great leader to unite the coring tribes to harness the power of the land and to build a legacy that would stand the test of time. Test of time. A civilization! There's a little spaceman floating around. Whee! <laughs> All right, I will do my civilization first. I guess I'll play be a prince. A prince. Well, you can do easiest or toughest. I'd like to be able to survive somewhat in the game and not get owned. Uh, so I'll do prince, which is somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. This will be me. Yee! <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do seven civilizations. I like having everything filled up. Makes it more interesting. All right, pick your tribe. What should I do? What should I do? Uh, let's see. I like German. Zulu. <laughs> Mongols. English. It's like I should, I should pick something that you don't really hear a lot of. I'm going to go with the Zulu. Shaka. <laughs> this actually makes me think of something. Shaka Khan. <laughs> Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Oh, actually, it's put it one name. I don't even think I don't even think I'm spelling it right, but that's okay. <laughs> Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan, you have risen to become a leader of the Zulus. May your reign be long and prosperous. The Zulus have knowledge of irrigation, mining, bronze working, poetry, or pottery, pottery <laughs> and roads. And look, that's me smiling up there. Yee! That was my jam. All right. <coughs> Here I am. All right, let's figure out what I'm going to do here. So, the Zulu settlers are here, which seems like a good place. Uh, let's see. Found new city. That's right. B for build. Zimbabwe. Bobwe. Apparently, you're building a city. Yeah, called Zimbabwe. Maybe it's Zuluian. I don't know. Could be their language. Those look like donkeys or something. All like right, we got teepees yeah. and 4000 BC. Ugh. Ugh! I just had a soda. All right, Zimbabwe. Here we are. Um, what? I only got one guy there. I think we have some warriors. Let's see. Or is that a cellar? I don't know. What shall we build in Zababwe? All right, we don't want. I think these are the militia guys. Is what we're um, doing. 
Um, let's see if we can buy stuff. I thought there was a way to find out what you were. Whoops. All right. End the turn. Press enter to continue. End the turn. End the turn. All right. Okay, it's the militia that we're building. Let's go ahead and move him off. Uh, meanwhile, so my city strength is one. That means I don't have much. Um, let's go ahead and let's see. Let's. We should probably have a pretty good army here. Oh, here we go. That's what we're building. It's over. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not it. That just says how many that we have. Yeah, let's keep. Oh, there's our palace. Let's keep uh, building our military. Probably going to need it. Let's move him around. <clears throat> okay, so this dark green stuff is forest, as you can see. Forest. Anything that is yellow is plains. This is good to know if you want to change the land and stuff. Change it? Yeah, you can uh, mine ore and stuff. <clears throat> That's So that, la that thing right there, that black thing is like coal or something. So, in hills, I think. Here's my other guy. We'll move him off this way. Oh, okay, can't go that way anymore. Let's see. There's a there's a weight function. Okay, weight. Um, okay, weight. He's not gonna wait. All right. How do we? Uh, oh, no orders. A space. Okay, no orders. Let's move him here. All right. So now we got two together. They're blinking together. That's good. Ow! Oh, I want them to group together. How do I do that? Um. Uh, fortify. Now, fortify is uh, when you're when you're t like if they're if they're standing right there, they would sit in the place and uh, disband you. Oh, don't want, don't want to do that. Advisors, nope, nope. I don't think I can move them together as a group. Civilopedia. Yeah, it's kind of like encyclopedia, but civilopedia. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's put them. I think we can do this. Put them in here. You have discovered a friendly tribe of skilled mis mercenaries. Yay! Yay! What? Well, uh, oh, I got a horse. horsey guy. <laughs> he can move faster. All right. We got one heck of an army. Let's go out this way. And we'll go take you this way. And we'll take you this way. And we'll move him. <coughs> we must be on some type of island. I think you so. You have discovered scrolls of ancient wisdom. Hey. Ooh. Masonry, civilization advanced. The aggregation of people into the first cities required permanent buildings to fill the need for these structures. Some of the new city dwellers became expert in the techniques of masonry. This technology utilized rocks and mud bricks. Cementing these materials into buildings and walls with experience, their buildings grew larger and more elaborate. Walls became more imposing and the work became more permanent and pleasing to the eye. Years of experience led to more sophisticated techniques of construction. Whoa, whoa. All right. Civilization events discovered. We can, from here, this is like a technological tree. So from here, we can branch off into mathematics. Well, this is what it allows us to do, is mathematics with the alphabet, Feudalism with monarchy and construction with currency. All right, so let's see. This is going to improve our palace, our city walls, pyramids, or the wonder and the great wall wonder. <coughs> All right. Zim. 
Well, that's cut off there. That's Zimbabwe there. Oh, yeah, Zimbabwe. thought maybe I could move out a diagonal. No. I don't know if I can. Oh, yes, I can. You have to use the number key keypad. Or you could do those two. I don't know if that, that works or not. You have discovered scrolls of ancient wisdom. What do we get this time? Iron working. Building on the experience of their bronze working. Ancient smelters. Learned ironworking, the manufacture and fabrication of a much more useful metal. Iron ore was extremely common compared to copper and tin, and iron was harder, less brittle, and could hold a much sharper edge. It was an ideal material for tools and weapons. Some observers considered development of ironworking to have been a key step in the advance of civilization. It made workers much more efficient and was found useful in many new applications. Yay. All right, so we need bronze working. Oh, it requires it. So we can't do anything with iron working until we get bronze working. But once <laughs> we get it. Sorry. Once we get it, we can do construct bridges and do gunpowder. And get a And dude. get get a legion. Yeah, get a dude. Uh, let's see here. Zimbabwe! Let's save our game here. Which drive? Yeah, I think that would be correct. Um, no. What did it just save to? But I don't want to select those save files. It's saying select one to save it on. I guess. All right. OK, let's move here. And move them there. And them there. Moving out of diagonal. Ooh, there's the mining. Yeah, I see some gold over there. Let's go over here. Let's click on our city. All right, we need to, we're going to run out of resources here. So let's change this and build, let's build a granary. This is going to allow our food storage to go higher. What's well, a granary? <clears throat> um, it holds uh, like wheat. Um, it, it, it allows you to store more more food, pretty much. Like a silo. Kind of, yeah. Or whatever it's called. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. oh we're in the corner. <laughs> I guess we're really happy. I don't know. Um, okay, we're going to build a granary next. Exit. Alright, let's keep moving our guys. And moving them around. An emissary from the Americans wishes to speak with you. Will you receive him? Sure. Well, Washington's way up there. <laughs> Whoa, it's George. Yeah, it's George Washington. Nope, it's Ab <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Greetings from our most wise emperor, Abe Lincoln of the Americans. We note that your primitive civilization has not even discovered ceremony burial. Do you care to exchange knowledge with us? Sure. Americans take bronze working. Select one. I don't care to have ceremonial burrow. Alphabet. Alphabet will be good. Bum, bum, bum. An alphabet is a group of symbols that represents <coughs> gnomes. Gnomes. Uh, 
Sounds that humans can make or distinguish. Some alphabets represent syllables. The ancestors of modern alphabets are the icono iconographic and ideologic symbols. My goodness. I, I can't distinguish sounds, apparently. Uh, symbols of ancient man, such as cuneiform. Cuneiform. You know that word? Yeah, we're talking about in world history and hieroglyphics. Oh. Well, I know hieroglyphics. Man, you're smarter than me. The modern alphabet of the West traces back to the Romans, then to the Greeks, and then to the Phoenicians. The alphabet was significantly... Oh, significant because <laughs> ideas could now be transferred by being painted on pottery, Blue. carved in stone, or impressed in clay. Ideas no longer had to be exchanged face-to-face -face by voice or hand signals. Yay! <coughs> All right. Taken from Americans, this allows code of laws, map making, that'd be good, mathematics, and writing. Writing is good, too. We note that your primitive civilization... Again? What? Okay. They take masonry. We really have to have this? All right. Ceremonial burial. Bur burial? Burrito. Uh, groping? Cropping? Cropping. Then that should be two-piece? I don't know. For an explanation of the world around them, the earliest humans developed the first concepts of religion. These early forms of worship attempted to give order to the world and assign humans a role in the universe. Gradually, the rites of worship grew more sophisticated with sacrifices, ceremonies, vigils, uh, sim symbology and sacred items and prayer <laughs> and later wars uh, one significant step in the advance of worship was this ceremonial bur burial often a preparation for an afterlife the remains of ceremonial Burrito. burritos offer some of the most detailed Mexican information available of uh, past <coughs> meals Life. lives so it is gropping gropping no it has a dash underneath it. Huh? Looks like a C. Yeah, but so did the grad. I don't know. I don't know. Groping is a whole nother word, so... Anyway. Oh, look! We can do a temple improvement! Monarchy! Monarchy with a code of laws and mysticism. See, we don't have a, a government at the moment. You may be worthy to make peace treaty with us. <laughs> we have prepared a treaty for your signature. Well, how nice of you. We'll accept. We affirm this treaty of eternal friendship and goodwill between the people of the Americans and the Zulu civilization. Looks like Zulu. Look, he's smiling. I know, both of them did. Right I saw them open their mouths. They're all smiling. They're all happy. Wow. Happy is good. Sometimes. We welcome the friendship of the Zulu people, smile, and their most wise and munificent leader, Emperor Shaka Khan. He likes Shaka Khan. <laughs> I, listen, I listen to her every, every day. You respond? We, the people. <laughs> Demand tribute for our patience. Alright, we'll do peace. Yay, we're peace with Americans. Yay! Seems like a good time to save. Save game. We'll save over that. Alright, well we know where the Americans are, and that's a pretty big city. It's only two. Yeah, I know, but we're only one. We need to start growing. Whoa! Turquoise! Oh, that is very cool. You can do M for mine, I think. Yeah, but you can't do it with... Um... Wow, bone. Wow. Okay, can't go that way. We'll take him this way. We just came from that way. You have discovered valuable metal deposits worth 50. 
That's always good. Move him there. We're, we're moving our army around. <coughs> Washington. We're spreading. We want to see what's around. Well, what if we find someone? We've discovered more ancient scrolls of wisdom. Ooh! Writing! Development of writing is considered one of the most important advances of civilization. From that point, history began as defined by written records, first inscribed on clay tablets or carved into stone. The significance of writing is that it allowed ideas and knowledge to be stored and passed on over distance and time, far removed from the refrigerator, no, the <laughs> originator. Prior to this, communication had to take place face to face. Writing greatly accelerated the advance of knowledge because that was known in the past. Oh, what was known in the past did not have to be relearned by each new generation. <clears throat> Don't ask if I can write. No. Ooh, this requires the alphabet, which we have. Yay. And we can get religion with philosophy and literacy with the code of laws. And we can do diplomat units and a library improvement. Well, that makes sense. Writing requires you to know how to have alphabets. Yes. Because you put alphabets into together to make writing. Yeah. Go down. <laughs> well, look at those fishies. Yes, if we can build a town over there. Why don't you get a thingy? Well, while you're walking all over the place, your town can be building up. Yes, I know. Oh, they are building up. Wow. Um, we still have to... How much does it cost to buy a granary? And how much how much resources do we have? Ooh, cost to complete. Eighty four. Treasury seventy six. We don't have enough, apparently. Pop population. I know. But there's only a man and a female. What, thirty thousand is a lot. Yeah, pro apparently not as big as the, uh, the other one, or Washington. Washington is up to two. We just got up to two. Yeah. So we must have the same. I can't move. Oh, I can't move through that. Okay. I think we might have found the edge of the island. All right, let's keep going. Spread around. Ooh, Paris. French. They wish to speak with us. Will you receive them? Yeah. Sure. It's Napoleon. <laughs> Greetings from our most wise Emperor Napoleon of the French. We're going to wipe you out. I love the music. You may be worthy to make peace with us. We have prepared. He's smiling. <laughs> a smiling a smiling Napoleon is actually kind of scary. They're all smiling. <laughs> Except. We affirm this treaty of eternal friendship and goodwill between the people of the French and Zulu civilizations. We welcome the friendship of the Zulu people and their most wise blah 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 Shaka Emperor Khan. Shaka Khan. He likes Shaka Khan. I don't know if he maybe doesn't. We respond with we welcome. welcome. Oh, wow. Maybe we could just befriend everybody. Yeah, that doesn't always work. We can try. All right, let's put our. Whoops. See how much further we can go up here. And down. All right. We'll 
keep moving him. We've got ancient wisdom again. We have a lot of wisdom. Yeah. Map making. <laughs> awesome. Map making <laughs> was an offshoot of the development of the alphabet. Oh, with this technology, if with this te technology, if <laughs> I think it's supposed to be it. Became, speaking of writing and spelling, the, the, apparently they couldn't do that very well when technology they made this game. Technology, if yeah, it, it should be it. It became possible to record the location of important places and features on animal skins, gate clay, clay tablets, tree bark, or other materials, and thus pass on this information to others. This was especially useful to seamen, who often ventured far from home along strange coasts, with their only guide being the maps made by those who had sailed there previously. Map making encouraged travel and exploration by making it less risky. It was the beginning of the skills that became the science of navigation. Uh -huh. All right, so now we can build these Astronomy. tyramy units or something. Lighthouse wonder. Why don't you start building buildings? Because I'm trying to build that granary. That means I can hold more food. My population will get bigger. Apparently we are not on an island. Or it's a really, 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 really big island. Oh, can't go that way. We can go that way, though. I think it might be time to start taking my guys back. I keep him around, though. What's that blue thing? What blue thing? The blue thing. This? No. It's not on the map. Oh. <coughs> this? Not that thing. This? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think that is something important, but can't remember. The check. Uh. Oh, we just found another. All right. This means these two could easily go to war with each other. Uh-oh. Unless they're already friends. It's possible. Why don't you speak to them? Because sometimes when you speak to them, they don't like you. And the only thing they can think of is going to war with you. Mm. We build a granary finally! It took forever. Yay! It looks like a big beehive. Alright, now that that's... Yeah, it does. Now that that's built... Should be able to get more food storage. That would be good. We don't want to build another granary. Okay, so. We should build. I think we need more settlers. How about a great wall? No, oh, my goodness. It's going to take 100 turns before we build that. Yeah, but it would protect us, wouldn't it? No, great wall is a wonder. <laughs> What does a one, one, one wonder do? A wall, 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 wall wonder is actually like something, like a like some of the wonders of the world, like the um, oh, like the Grand Canyon stuff like that. Well, then what's the well? Then why you like this gives you um, uh, benefits and stuff like that. That's ben why. Oh. What we want are sellers. Mm -hmm. That way we can build more cities. Oh, that's and, what I thought. Yeah. And build up um, more Things. populate, more money and stuff. All right. I wonder who the pink guys are. Coventry. Now that's just the name of the. Uh... Yeah, but there was Washington, and that kind of gave us a clue that it was American. In Paris, which was French. Why 
Why don't you just talk to them? Because I don't want to start a war. But I want to talk to them. What if they have <coughs> the knowledge? I don't know. They might. <clears throat> The French wants to speak to me. Their little thing went up to three. Whoa. Mm, greetings from he who makes mortals <laughs> tremble. <laughs> Napoleon of the French. Like Napoleon Dynamite. We welcome the friendship of the Zulu people and their most wise leader. We respond. Welcome peace with the French. Well, that was easy. It's like, hello, we keep peace. Goodbye. That's good. I'm good with peace. Give me a chance to develop my civilization. Alright, I think I've reached the end there. Kinda. Right. What if there's something important right where that black spot is? Well, he's gonna go there anyway. That's uh -huh. just a mountain. Desert. Oh, oh, that's not my settlers. <laughs> that's theirs. That means they're going to settle a new, a second place. Well, <clears throat> that means we better get cracking. Cracking, crack a lacking, crack a lacking, crack a lacking. It's a pretty big island. Yeah, I know. Taking them all back. What? Oh, it was auto saving. Whoops. Whoops. Went, went the wrong way. Go up. Up. Yep. Doesn't want to go up. Right. Down. Let's build a fort. Yeah. <coughs> Let's put him there. We'll move our guys up. And up. And up. And up. F for fortify. Boom. So he's going to fortify that area right there. And so is he. Does that mean you can never control them anymore? No, I can control them. It's just <clears throat> they've kind of dug themselves there. So they're in a defensive posture. So that way, if someone does try to attack me, it's going to be harder for them. Ah, yes, we built our settlers. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe and our settlers. Goody, goody, goody. We need to go build another one, too. What else can we... Oh, my goodness, it's going to take 40 turns to do that. It's because our resources are getting kind of low. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, we'll build it. We'll build another one. Um why not? There's not too much else that we can really do. We don't really need any more militia. Don't really need a that. A that? <clears throat> a barracks. Well, we, we could use a barracks. That'll make things um, bigger for us, but... Library would be good. So I think I'll do the library maybe after the next uh, settlers. How much money do we have anyway? 89 apparently is all we got. <laughs> <coughs> That's not all right. Lot. We're doing awesome We're apparently. We're in the jungle. Hey, you're much faster than me. All right, let's move you over here. Where can we put you? Where you'll do the most most good. 
on the fish. How about over here where the gold is at? Actually, right here would be perfect because I'll have access to both of these. Yes. But they're not touching each other. No, but it they get the surrounding area. Oh, like it's perimeter? Yeah. But you still wouldn't thing. get it. No. I just lost one of my militia people. Why? Because I didn't have enough food to support them. Aww. Maybe you need to get some food. Let's fortify him. That's why I want to get them up here. <coughs> Can settlers die? Oh, I suppose that they can't be... Oh, look. My city went down to one instead of two. <coughs> Not good. Yeah, I'm going to go right here. And, let's see, orders, found new city. That's what we're going to do. Build. Yulundi. 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 Um, since he's over there next to Washington, let's just call it... D.C. <laughs> we'll call it the Onage City. Watch it be the one that actually survives. Probably. <coughs> Onage founded 2800 BC. Yeah, those do look like donkeys. Donkeys or dogs or something. There we go. <laughs> Onage. <coughs> Very proud of Onage. All right. Well, I don't what? think we need to build any more militia. What else can we do here? Whoa. Look at all that stuff. Built the library. Well, I need to build the fences up first. So build a barracks. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the barracks first. <coughs> all right. See, look what I have. I'm right there next to everything. Oh, so all that that's showing gets it? Right, and you can uh, change your resources. Um, how do you do that? Oh, that's right. You click on that, and you can change it over here. And so depending upon what things need, you can change it accordingly. Um, all these mean something, and I forget what they mean. Um, we can actually look that up. Um, you can move it over here which doesn't give you very much. <coughs> what we want... Whoops. <laughs> now I'm confused. I don't know what I did with my stuff. That was a lock. Where do my people go? Oh, okay. Um, that gives me two. All right. See, we're going to need this in order to grow our people. The other stuff isn't going to really help. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I've got my uh, two settlements. This is that game where you just want to do one more turn, one more turn, one more turn, but we can't. So I'm going to end uh, my playthrough and then we will start things with nerd gamer 2k and see what she does yeah all right it's nerd gamer 2's civilization yay whoa i'm trying to give you space for the mouse mouse all right so yeah you want to do start a new game All right. Which one are you going to do? I'm going to be a Viking. Warlord. How many civilizations? Um, I'll do seven. No. Yeah. 
And I think I'm going to be... Probably Zulu, that's what I am. I know. I'm thinking either German or Egyptian. Do Egyptians, because they're not really around anymore. Renesis. <laughs> it's a lovely name. Um... Cams too. Oh, did you put a G? Is that a G? That's a G. Oh. Game's too gay. Whoa. Hey. Um. Ah, just put Z. Yeah, you're just overriding it. <laughs> Good old DOS. Yeah. Games too gay. You have risen to become leader of the Egyptians. May your reign be long and prosperous. That's what usually what I think of when I see an Egyptian. <laughs> be long and prosperous. Live long and prosper. The Egyptians have knowledge of irrigation, mining, and roads. Kill. So can I click, or do you have to do the thingy? Um, I think you actually can click, but oh, maybe not. No. Do I do these things? No, I think you do. Oh, you have to do like the numerical keypad if you want to go at an angle. I'm losing my mouse space. Sorry. Causing problems. Remember, B is build your civilization, which actually that's a pretty good spot because you can do irrigation and stuff there. Thebes. <laughs> <laughs> or it's the best. Maybe it's the best? <laughs> the best. Or Thebest. The best. The best. Woo! The best founded in 4000 BC. It's bro. Bro, bro calling. That's what BC stands for. I don't know. Bro calling. Bro calling. Yo, bro. Okay. Okay. So you can. You looks like you're going to be making a warrior. If you're going to make warriors, I don't know. Or you could change um, that. I'm probably going to. What's a militia again? That's what this guy is. He's a uh, soldier. He's militia. Probably going to build a barracks and then build a person. Ah. Do I hit nice. buy? No, you don't want to do buy because um, no, you're good. Okay. The best. What? Oh, I think you just... <laughs> nice! Um, good job. I think I said alphabet. Whoa, there's a lot of turns going by. Like, oh. all the years. Whoa, look at that. Egyptian yeah, I did choose alphabet. Discover the secret of alphabet. Oh, so you were, um... You were, yeah, you were choosing a way to go, so... There we go. You oh, got well. the alphabet. We already know what alphabet is. It's a group of symbols that create words okay now what are you gonna do wait why did you never get one of these oh because I found the stuff yeah but why didn't I don't know that's weird okay. Cause I, I was finding stuff <coughs> horseback riding cuz I'm an Egyptian maybe, maybe. uh Horseback riding. <laughs> Yay! It looks like wood. Could be. Okay. <coughs> well, look at all that food storage. Alright, so you don't want to build another barracks. What? 
click in your city. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna build a mil or should I build no, I'm gonna build militia. Yeah, you're gonna wanna move some people. I'm around. already up to three, look at that. Okay. Let's Man, you got a strong How do I go diagonal seven? Yeah. I mean Yeah. You you can see see the arrows there. Yeah, I see the arrows, but I don't see <coughs> diagonal arrows. Well, it's in between. Yay! You know what it is? Is because you got all this money, and I spent all mine on army. <laughs> so. Horses are believed to have been first domesticated in the Great Plains of Northern Asia. Mount mounted horsemen from this region migrated into the more civilized parts of Europe and Asia often driving out or enslaving the inhabitants. Where the horse could be raised, horseback riding was extremely useful as it was a source of power and means of transportation. It proved especially valuable in battle, making the rider much more imposing and mobile. Mounted warriors mobile. were mobile. Um, actually, well, well, whatever. Mounted yeah. warriors were part of most armies until their role as scouts and cavalry was superseded by vehicles and aircraft. So it allows cavalry. The cavalry. So let's see. What's masonry? Uh, building with bricks. Mm. <gasps> Bronze working, maybe. Okay. I'll build, I guess that guy will come out and then I'll do another settler. Oh no, barbarians! No! Yay! Just in time. Uh. Whoa. Look how powerful I am. He's like, yay! <laughs> <laughs> they all attacked me and I yay! beat them. <laughs> I'm powerful. It looks like he's celebrating. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Calvary, that'll be nice. I am so strong. Man, my civilization's weak. <laughs> I barely did anything. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh. That's my guy. Yay. Your guy. Oh. That's my guy. <laughs> oh, that's a song. My guy. My guy. Uh, oh. That's not good. What did I do? No. What? Oh, no. I think you've been owned. But I had such a strong city. <laughs> Centuries later, <laughs> archaeologists discover the remains of your ancient civilization. There was hardly anything in my civilization. Evidence of thriving towns, horseback riding roads. This is in Egypt. And a centralized government. Oh, well, yeah. Amazed a startled scientist. I'm an Egyptian. Finally, they come upon a stone tablet which contains but one mysterious phrase games 2k will return <laughs> well that was very interesting <laughs>